two, three, four. around with those chords but anyway you get the idea this song is really cool by uh Kaola, i think the band's called and alaska it's requested by one of my students so i thought hey why not just do a tutorial of this i taught the song to him and he really enjoyed it so i thought hey uh, the main thing of the song is it's in drop d and it's got some interesting chord voicings that are not very common and it's got a picking pattern that's pretty creative in the way it's laid out so i'm going to go through that i'm going to go through the chords and it's a nice song, it's in drop D tuning, so just the thick E string is tuned down to a D. And then you're good to go. And then cap on the first fret to... The tricky thing is you see there's a lot of chords here, and the main song is just used using four chords, G, B minor, A. Um, the reason I'm talking about it in chords of D, G, like that, because it's in drop D tuning, so you don't want to change all the chord names. Um, so what else did I want to say? Oh, there are some different shapes. So there's two ones for B minor that I put on the PDF sheet. You can get the PDF sheet on the li link in the description. Uh, so that some of the B minors, they use different B minors in the chorus than in the verse. Okay, but I'm going to go through that. Let's just... Let's just start first with the first chord and then, uh, or let's just go through all the chords. Okay, let's just do that. Because the first chord we have here is a D. It's actually called a D add 11, I think, uh, because it's got the G string in there, but we're just going to call it a D because that's how it functions in the song, if that makes sense. Uh, and then a G, you put the pinky up here. You might say, why don't you just use these fingers like this? Well, the reason for that is because you're going to be playing a B minor just after the G. And this is also like a B minor something something. I'm not going to get too technical with the names. That's a B minor and this is an A. So basically we've got these, these notes with just the bass note changing. So D and then G. A. And then you've got these alternative shapes with B minor, we just add the pinky here, A, these are the chords they use in the chorus, and then at the end of the, close to the bridge, they use this A, and then in the bridge they also use this E minor, which you can play with three fingers like that, or like that depends on you okay so if you've got this chords down then you want to go down to the picking pattern now the the green is the root note so you always want to follow the root note and the thumb has got this alternating thing now that implied I'll explain that in a minute but just let's just first, le first learn it like this we're gonna go boom da du ka da ka doom da du ka da ka doom da let's first try it with a D actually it's easier chord your picking pattern and the way you count that is one and two e and a one and two e and a one and two e and a three and four and a one and two e and a three and four e and a one and two e and a that's how you count it so it's eighth notes you count like one and two and and the sixteenth notes the last four notes you count like one E and a two E and a so it's four notes for a beat. But, blah, blah, blah. but you don't have to know that just kinda like bam bam bakaraka banka bakaraka banka bakaraka da nza taka tika boom za boom tika boom za taka tika randa tika tika boom da Now that implied note, that means it's implied in the song, that beat and that bass note, but it's not played. Okay? So if you want to play it exactly like the guy's playing it, you need to take that note out, which is Harder than it than it seems. So, so. 
So uh, it, it, you can get it right with a bit of practice. If you want to strum the song, you can go down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. But it's a bit harder because there's some notes that you have to mute, and so the picking is probably easier. Now, the way I laid this out is, this is the intro. Basically, what this, how how you can read this is like the Nashville number system. So this is going to be a full bar. So you're going to count one, two, three, four, and this is going to be half a bar, half a bar, because they have a line under it. It says they share a bar. So you're going to go. It's going to sound like this: G. One, two, three. G again. One, two, three. idea okay so just remember whenever you see a line under it those two chords share a bar half a bar for each chord okay um, so let's quickly just go over the song so for the whole for the verse of the song you're gonna I wonder in my life So something like that, um, but it's basically that chord. All of daily affirmations in the corner of your mirror, pins and lipstick. I read them all with three tones on my own. Resist the urge to add another line. Now I included the chords in the chorus just to make it a little bit easier. To your life, to your life. Now here they use the B minor with the pinky added. Your life. To make the B minor more implied because they're playing it for longer than half a bar. And here they're using the A sus4. just do the second verse again and then the chorus they're gonna go really good and I wonder if if we even should and then that's just the intro again and then the bridge oh my mind regular A there or the A sus4 I would use one of those two then you come and the B minor you use in this part is also the B minor with the pinky shake me out of my mess talk me back and sleep That E minor, I just want to mention about the E minor, it's these three and then the picking is going to be the first four strings, or the last four strings. That's what you're going to do for the E minor. So it's quite intense, it gets intense here at the bridge, you might think you have the song once you learn the intro and that, but at the bridge it gets a little bit intense. Um, just a couple of things you want to think about. So, But play with the original, you'll get the idea there. Okay and how to sing. I've, I'm not quite sure of how the melody goes all over the place. Does that even, that's just not proper grammar. But anyway, <laughs> I'm sure you understand what I'm saying and I'll see you in the next lesson. Have a nice day, bye.